today I'm going to be attempting to fix the Perusa i3 MK2. Now the main problem with this one is that I don't even know if it works, meaning it could explode when I turn it on, but also there's this nozzle error, so yeah, let's get started. Alright, that's usual for when the, yep, it says ER min temp. Preheat. Exactly. This is a usual printer for when it's broken. Okay. So first off, what we're gonna do is power the printer off. The second thing we're going to do is no matter how hard this is, I'm gonna remove this wire. With the wire, this filament by using industrial grade pliers. Let's get started. You know what? Let's pull up this chair. And since I'm gonna be here for a while, I might as well watch some Mark Rober. No, never mind, it's just gonna distract me. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise up the bed. I think it's locked. Yeah, we know it's not working. Settings, move axis, move the X, make sure that the, the bed's good, the Y, perfect, and then the Z. Move this all the way up. I'm gonna do this. So I can get it aligned back to X, Y, and Z. Now let's move this. Now, the Y. Alright, now. I can place the, the X, Z, the X axis back to middle position. And I can power the printer off. And I can start removing stuff. All right. First thing off is I want to, okay, yeah, now it's. I want to keep the printer on. So the first thing I'm going to actually do is I'm going to try to figure out a way to remove this nozzle. I'm not qualified at all for doing this, so let's hope this would work. So the first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the wires, which I feel like is a very bad idea, but this is the only thing that's stuck to this printer. Meaning, I'm gonna have to. I really don't wanna cut this because if this doesn't work, this thing's just gonna become a whole pop socket. What I literally mean by pop socket is that it's gonna explode in my face. So let's try to get this thing removed. So, I got the wild mover, I got the wires to the nozzle cut. Well, at least the first ones. Here's the thing is that. Here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna leave an indent into one of these. Oh, shoot. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna leave an indent on both sides. So then, there we go. So that when I cut in between these, I'll actually be able to remember which one was the nozzle wire and which one goes to which because these, there's other ones that are actually color coded, but some of these are very different. So there we go. This is going very well, so far, seemingly. Alrighty. The ground wire fell out, which is not the best, but okay then. 
All right, I got that off. Great. That was harder than I thought. Now the next step is to rewire this. All right, first off, let's try to strip the wires that are needed to be stripped. Since this was the one with the indent, I'm gonna leave the indent back in it, but this one was not, so I can just cut the head right off. All right, next part is this wire, these two wires more or less. One is the ground, and one is not, so let's do that. And this, I'm oh, cutting it, all righty. All right, perfect. Now, is this next part, which these are the thermal sensitive wires and bull like that. Now, there's the part that I don't know where anything goes at all. So, yeah. Forgot which one was the indent, but first off, Let's try stripping one of the wires. I feel like there's some kind of indication on which wire is which, but you know what? I'm not a 3D printing repairman. I'm a 3D printing technician. So I don't even know what I'm doing most of the time. While mainly when I'm fixing printers, I don't know what I'm doing most of the time. So let's hope whatever I'm doing is fixing. Right, we can try this out, which I'm doubting a lot that this is gonna work at all because, as I said, I ain't no fixicist with the 3D printuses. I ain't no fixer for 3D printers. Oof, mate. All right, we can try out this first one. Let's hope that this thing doesn't have reverse polarity, so. This is the one with the indent. Honestly, I'm gonna take a guess that this is the one with the indent. So you know what? What I think I'm gonna do is what I am gonna do is that I'm gonna wire this one to here, which I'm probably is not right. Knowing me since I never get my connections right the first time. This is as much as I'm gonna get. Now remember, even though I'm already this far in the video, please do not try this at home. Uh, this might not work, and this might work perfectly, but still, don't try this at home. Anything you see in this video could cause death. So yeah. What kind of a power output is this? Probably 24 volts. Yeah, this thing is a 24 volt. Output. This is a 24 volt. Dang it. You know what? Might just work. All right, let's keep these two wires away from each other. Discharge this thing, okay, it's discharged. Now, I need something to protect myself just in case this goes horribly wrong. So what I'm gonna use, do, use is this tripod. We do have a working printer, so let's hope this thing does not pop the surge or the breaker in my office. Ready? 
Three. Oh my god. Oh fuck, it's on. It's not, it doesn't look like to be displaying anything. It's be very. Oh, okay. Error mini temp still. Try preheating the noddle to ASBS. No. Meaning that this is probably on backwards, but let's try it. Okay. It's rewired. Pops or bangs. Let's try it out. Fuck it. I don't know what to say. I get to see if there's a voltage on these lines, but I don't know how I'm about to do that. But you know what? Let's try charging an iPad. Well, I'm kind of stumped because I don't know what I'm doing right now, especially since I've snipped all the wires that I've able to. But I can't see, seem to see where these pieces wire up now. But I have to finish this up. This, my coach is relying on me. Well, this, my boss is relying on me to hopefully get this finished. I could connect these to ground because I don't know which ones go wear on the nozzle, meaning I'm gonna have to completely take this nozzle apart. I did get my 332 inch Allen wrench. So yeah, let's hope this works. Alrighty, I've got pretty much most of the screws undone. Which, if we go get the other printer, this one completely failed. To go get the other printer. Let me first remove the gunk out of this one. For real this time, if we go get the other printer. Go get the other printer. This might be one. Morning. I might actually be able to fix. Okay. Let's take this one and see where all of this stuff goes. Alright, so I figured out where everything wool goes. Is that there's this little blue wire. This little blue wire right here. This one. Supposed to be two. I'm going to splice it so that there is two and then I'm going to wire all of this up. Alright, this next part, do not try this at home because on this... On this printer, it shows that these two pieces, or that these two wires, are shorted straight on to the nozzle's ground. So, this one I'm actually going to take precaution on. And, watch out. Don't try this at home. Oh, why does that hurt? And what is it doing? Okay, it seems to work. Oh. 
Oh my god! I wired it backwards. I wired it backwards. Okay, ready? Max Temp. I think I worded backwards again. All right. And if this doesn't work, then I'm going to guess that maybe the brains of this entire option is completely dead and I might have to use a completely different brain for it. So. Hey, you three peas of mutton. Here, let's remove one of these wires. Try it now. All right, you got it to shut, but just still. I could understand it being 12 degrees Celsius, but not. 739 degrees Celsius, which is like over a thousand degrees Fahrenheit. All right, so I can't seem to figure the problem out. But I do have an idea, and that is to... Remove the nozzle on this thing completely. Or more or less remove the sensor on this and put it in this one. And we might actually get a working printer. Got the working sensor. Now let's put it in this Prusai 3 MK2. Right old nozzle out. New one. Going in. Alright. New nozzle screwed in. Now it's time to see if it works and let's wire it up. Oh god. Getting small around here. Time to be a tad bit more careful. Alright. And as well as Should have done the smarter thing and cut off a little bit more. But of course, did I? No. Nah. I don't want to. Next time, I'm going to cut off as much as I can. Because I said, oh, I'm probably not going to need the extra. But guess what? Did I? Of course I needed the extra. Some way, somehow, of course, I needed the extra. And guess what? Did I have it? Nope.
geez. Holy, I got that. Next up is gonna be the blue, and then. No, next up is gonna be black and then blue. Give me a round of applause. I did not cut one wire. Well, I did cut one on accident, which of course I really didn't mean it because, well, these are my favorite pinners and I, <coughs> well, excuse me, love working with pinners. So now is the moment to see if we killed the printer or if we got a successful one, now, let's hurry up and wire it. Do I not have enough wire? Okay. No, I do not. So I need to pull out some wire, which is I feel like what they're made for. Is so that just in case you're rewiring this, be able to pull out on some wire. Which, of course... I needed to do so. What did I do? I pulled out some more wire. Of course I did. So well, let's continue. No kinking. All right, he's. I should have done this blue one first, but of course, did I? No. It's all right. There's nothing wrong with it, but I should have done it because it would have been easier for me to wire all of these up. No, uh, the brown one just came undone. I'm very per perplexed by this right now. And all the wire just went undone. Oh, Okay, it's one. I just need to glue this on. Okay, we're going old style with this. And I'm not going to solder this in yet. I just want to test it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some, some magic scotch tape to hold this on. I know this is kind of, how do I say this, redneck way. But you know what? I really don't care. Say as much as you want in the comments. And, yeah. And then the next printing episode, I want to attempt to fix both Prusa i3 MK2s. Alright, that's the second. I need some more tape. Not enough. Because if this touches the very long ground wire, then it's not going to end well. Alrighty. And. Oh my god. Oh my god. We just fixed this. Except the big old ground wire went loose. Let's just get two more pieces of tape ready. Hmm. 
Alrighty, and this piece, and then tape it all together. Then, if you like, that's it, and now let's test it. Ready, smoke test, three, two, one. Okay, whoa! Try to calibrate it. Oh, well, I'm gonna first put this back to home position. All right, Zed works. Oh God. Clean the nozzle. You know what, actually? Let's just do the print test. Let's take this, stick it into here, and then let's start printing base trombone mouthpiece. <laughs> 